you know me, I'm Kevin, and today I make my own Arduino <coughs> ultrasonic sensor. So now, let's go ahead there and see it. So now, here it is. Now you can already see the whole breadboard here with an ultrasonic sensor, potentiometer, some LEDs, and an LCD display. <coughs> and for this thing, <coughs> I put a Lego, some kind of a Lego structure like a wall, this one, to measure the distance between this Lego structure wall like this one and this ultrasonic sensor. And then, as you can see here, there's a word situation safe. That means because the distance detected by this ultrasonic sensor is more than 20. And then, if it is safe, that means green. And then, I'm going to turn on the yellow light by <coughs> making that wall, this thing's distance, be, and this thing could be <coughs> around 10 to 20. So, I'm gonna put it near, just watch at the display, as you can see there. Whoa. So now, I didn't turn on the yellow and turn off the green because this is 20 and then if I want to turn this red LED on, I must get this Lego structure under 10 cm. Boom! So now, this is 10 and the red, wait, sorry. So now, this is already, well, I make it 9 cm and as I say, it is under 10, so the red light is turning on. And then, if you want to drag it, it's just to measure this. And just now, this one is, a, before, it was green and the situation safe, red is danger, and then if it is yellow, give it time, and this is yellow, it says alert. That means like, yep, some kind of danger is coming. And if it is red, it's already danger. So let's go ahead if I'm going to move this. Now, here it is. Now you can already see the whole program here. And now let's talk about this. And there's an end here, which turned this trick pin into a variable equals to 3 that means this 3 is in this trick pin and also same with this one's too and in this void setup there's a pin mode 13 output and so on until here which are the leds that i show you just now and this lcd dot begin is used to prepare the lcd <coughs> first and now this is the main program the void loop you know that and for this one there's some kind of pin mode which is not in the void setup and then there's straight pin from before as an output and for this one there's a digital write which turns off the trig pin for a while well for two microseconds here then it turns on the trick pin which sends <coughs> some kind of ping signal and then you know here 10 microseconds again and then for this one it turns off the trig pin again and then for there this one there's a pin mode echo pin as an input which receives the ping signal and then this echo pin is received by pulse in and then <coughs> it's named as duration like this and then and to convert it into a centimeter that we usually use and so I use this. this centimeter equals duration divided by 58.2 and for this one there's an LCD dot set cursor which set the cursor <coughs> on the LCD by the first one which is 0 comma 0 and then it prints situation like I show you <coughs> on that model just now. Next, for the if part, <coughs> for, for so let's talk about this part first. 
<coughs> so that for this one, that means if the distance detected is less than 11, that means the red light in pin 11 turns on and the LCD displays the word danger. <coughs> Next part, which is this one. <coughs> so if the distance detected is <coughs> bigger than 10 and smaller than 21 which is between 10 and 21 that means <coughs> the yellow light in pin 12 turns on and the dis LCD displays alert and for this last part of the if if so if the distance detected is bigger than 20 that means the green light in the in pin 12 turns on and the LCD displays safe. And now for the last part of the program which is here <coughs> it's <coughs> so for this one it sets the cursor mm, at 0, 0,1 which is under the situation part which is the if just now and then displays distance <coughs> and then displays the centimeter in the Arduino programming number like this one, this one and the other centimeters but for this one, this is a word <coughs> which displays the distance then the number detected and then the centimeter and for this one, it turns off all of so the LED here it is now this is the list of connections that you must connect between components. For example, this is 5 volt and then there's an old here which is the ultrasonic sensor and for the, the, the right side of this bar which is PZC which is the pin connected in this component. So that means the Arduino in 5 volt connects to the PZC of this ultrasonic sensor and then there's an RLGL and also this one which like this for this one this RL is red light or red LED <coughs> and this one <coughs> these LEDs are connected to 13 until 11 and then there's a RES here or it's rest which is the resistor so before it connects to the LED there must be a resistor and then next here there's a VO and then it connects to pot which is potentiometer pin 2 so thank you for watching and don't forget oops so okay mm, yep thank you for watching and don't forget to Subscribe. Wait, where's Nemo?